In this video, we're going to add Entra authentication to a Streamlit web app using the MSAL library and a custom wrapper that will make it even easier in Streamlit. So let's take a look at the app that we're going to develop and then we'll walk through it. Uh, this application is very simple. It's like 50 lines of code and really all it does is it presents a user with some options, sign in, sign out, refresh token. When they sign in, we'll print out information that we got from the token uh, that Enter provided. Okay, so a little bit on the top, um, normal imports, streamlit, very normal session state, probably used 100 times. And then streamlit mcell is a third party library that is available on GitHub that was uh, contributed by, um, by a GitHub user that we'll take a look at in a minute. And then the in initialization steps are in here. So we first, we are gonna need a client ID and a tenant ID from Entra. So let's go ahead and create an app registration so that we will have that. So I'm gonna create a new app registration and I'm gonna call this just uh, streamlit dash um, intro test. Yeah, that works. So it counts in this directory only, that makes sense. And then we have to say what platform we want. So it's single page app because streamlit are single page apps. And the URL where we'll be running this from is just on my local development uh, environment. So that's 8501, so localhost 8501, HTTP, not HTTPS. In a application deployed to the web or to uh, an app center, wherever it's gonna go, this would be, you know, there would be a, an additional URL or we could just change this to the, uh, to, the, to the actual hosted one. But let's go with register that. That'll be fine for today. Here's our client ID, here's our directory ID. Those are the only two values we need from here. So I'm gonna grab the client ID back to Visual Studio, I'll paste that in here. And then if I go back here, I'll grab the directory ID, paste that in here, tenant ID, same thing. And then you can see down below that the mcell, so this library, Streamlit mcell, is gonna be initialized with the client ID. The authority is going to be this one that uh, just gives us user.read. So all we are going to get back is the user ID their, um, their UID from Entra, their email address, and some other information like that. So nothing beyond that for this. For this, If we wanted to get more information back, we would use different authorities, different scopes. So it's, uh, but that's kind of beyond the scope of today's quick little video. So let's go ahead and run this and see if it works. So if we just run the app in Streamlit, so there are the three buttons and it's telling me I'm not signed in yet. So let me go ahead and do that. So when I sign in, Enters being called to authenticate the user. Move this down here. So I'm going to say this is fine. Use this identity. And then this is important. So we specified we want user.read. The user has to give us permissions to read their profile. It, it can be done by the, an administrator as um, you know, opted in for the entire directory. But in this case, we're asking the user to do it. And this is telling me what permissions I am going to permit the application to use, basically just to read my information. That's about it. This would be, if you're an administrator, you can consent on behalf of your organization. I'm not gonna click that. So I'm, I'm just going to be a user in this case. So once I accept that, then get rid of that little thing. Now it says, you know, here's kind of the information I was looking for. So here's the, my username, my account ID, my, here's, here's the access token. And then below, I just, I just de I deconstructed the access token to dump out what's in it. And you can see that just basic things, what the expiration of the token is, who the user was, et cetera, all the stuff you saw on the screen. So that worked and, and that works you know, quite well. Uh, the refresh token is uh, just what that does is to refresh the access token. Because if we looked at the expiration date here, so this, uh, this token was created at 2232, it's gonna expire at 2335. So that's gonna give us a little less than an hour, looks or a little more than an hour. No, a little less than an hour, sorry. Uh, and if we wanna keep using this access token without making the user login again, we could do a token refresh. And then the last button is sign out. So I'll just go ahead and sign out, kind of clears it out of memory. So that's the application. So that's, you know, if you just wanted to see how it works, you can probably stop here, but I wanted to point out this library a little bit. I think this is by, uh, Villian Zilf. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, sorry about that if I didn't, but I, I really think he did a great job with this implementation. It's, um, it's very approachable. It's easy to integrate. He's got some sample code here. And the, what I really like about it 
is it's implemented under the covers really in React. So if we dig down into the underlying code here and go into source, you know, this is the package JSON, you know, this is all, you know, essentially React code. So he's using React down here. It's great. And if we go back up the web folder, go into source, take a look at where things are actually implemented. Not there. Um, here. Yeah. Yeah, this is right. So the the routines we're calling from the app are actually eventually getting down into here. So you saw the pop-up where he actually calls the acquire token pop-up. So when when this piece of React code ran, that's when we saw the pop-up. And in you know, if we wanted to fork this and modify how the Entra integration is done, we could really just change this part. We could we could change the React code, um, regenerate, you know, re-export it or rebuild it into the build folder for our application and kind of go from there. So very nice modular design. So um, hats off to uh, Villian. I really appreciate it. And I think that's all I have for you today. So hopefully that was helpful. You learned something, and um, it'll make it a little bit easier to do your intro authentication with uh, Streamlit. See you next time.